hate puppies. I was at my first Jewish wedding. We're recording. Are we? It's a good podcast. Yeah, first one ever. We'll, we'll talk about it. Very interesting. Oh, okay, interesting. my bad. I feel threatened. Well, cut that shit out, dude. <laughs> it's been so long, you forgot how this <laughs> works. No, no. Oh, I know exactly how it works. I just talk whenever the fuck I feel like it. Well, we got Ely here. Welcome to Inside the Pallet House. Good to hear from everybody, or good to hear from him. My wedding was Jewish. Was it? Yep. How, I mean, it was my first experience. It was yeah. pretty cool. It was Did hilarious. They do the chair the, thing? The, oh, yeah. The very next day, we're getting ready to, well, the next day, today, we're getting ready <laughs> to leave. And my and Jacob, my nine year old, I was like, Does anybody have fun at weddings? He's like, Yeah, especially Jewish ones. <laughs> They're awesome. <laughs> they say that. all that funny stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They sing everything. Yeah, oh yeah. I love that. Uh, that's his that's his first like real wedding experience and he's like I hate everything but Jewish. Yeah, weddings. exactly. He's that's the in, answer. Fully in. That's awesome. But yeah, no, it was awesome. So what made it so crazy? Like, I just had never been to one. So they okay. it's like they have a ton of different traditions. They say all kinds of stuff in Hebrew. I you know. How long's the actual ceremony? It's short. Yeah. Super short. The Mama's perfect short. wedding. Yeah. yeah. So, like, the way it worked for mine was, like, the all the parents are in the wedding. So, like, they all stand up there with you. So, that was kind of cool for us because, like, you're, if your dad's not in your wedding, he's still up there. And your yeah. mom's not in your wedding, she's still up there. They all, which, you know, parents love that. <laughs> Broke the glass, you know. We had a female rabbi, and she, she sang a bunch of stuff in Hebrew that I had no idea what they were saying. Yeah. But, I mean, it's... It was a lot. Like we didn't do like pick the chair up and carry me around or anything like that. Right. But uh, it was, it's not too unlike a normal, uh, a normal. A, a yeah, it's very wedding. similar. Yeah. They didn't what prep you, you prior to like give you like a little heads up about what was going. So to happen? I had to go like I, I think a lot of people do this. We had to go down and meet with the rabbi three or four times. We had to like, sign something that I had yeah. to sign as a witness. Oh too. yeah, you had to sign the uh, oh what's it called. Uh, my wife's going to kill me now. Yeah, yeah they do a contract that's pretty yeah. cool, and you have witnesses sign it, which is uh, pretty cool. It, ours is hanging up But in it's our a contract, room. like, for the church. It's not like a prenup. No, no, no. No, yeah, no, it's no. A, it's basically just it's like. It's a contract with God, man. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So you just sign the paperwork yeah. with God, and then God signs the other, yeah. the yeah. other line. Exactly. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Love to watch that happen. Yeah, so one, so one <laughs> you finish buddies, signing the contract, and then it just starts signing itself. <laughs> Sign like, here. I am sold. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> so, like, one of my buddies wasn't in the wedding, but, like, he's a good friend of mine. So I was like, hey, man, I want you to do this for me. So, you know, he he was like, oh, cool. That right. means something. I guess he thought that. I don't know what the hell he thought. Maybe he's like, whatever, dude, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. But I thought it was cool. But it was a, it's, a, it's a fun time. Glad yeah. you had fun. It was awesome. I've I'll definitely been been to a couple, and they're a blast. Yeah. I, mean, I love all weddings, down. man. Like, How can I you have, not? I, I agree, fun. man. I love, the, and I love being in weddings. It's the best party around. Yeah. It was my first wedding, though, with a, a, a newborn. Oh, you had was, the baby uh, there. Did you have the newborn with you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, I was in the wedding. You know, Angela had Atlas most of the time, so the burden was more on her. Yeah. But just having him was how big like how down. many people total 100 around there not that wasn't big. that big yeah. no and you just drove in from it right yeah so you're feeling like me tired yeah yeah super I, hot today too dude well not in here because i've got <laughs> this, i got this sweet yeah, ac like system 85 going. in here so <laughs> yeah. dude <We're> chilling <laughs> swampy as shit it's brutal it's funny man because i literally just came back from south carolina today and it wasn't nearly as hot two states south. Yeah. As Down it by is. the water, man. I guess there's some, probably some truth to that. Yeah. I was right on the ocean. I didn't really take that into consideration. That's how it works. Good call. Good call. I'll give you that. Large amounts of water help cool things down. It was a good ass vacation, though, that's for sure. I was. Y'all I was, had a good time? Yeah, man. I was glad to be gone for a week, completely checked out. You yeah. Know? I mean,. You, say you still work. Yeah, you, you still, still work. Yeah, you definitely still take a few calls, check a few, like, critical emails. But for the most part, you're like, someone else can handle that bullshit and, like, move on. Sounds you know? like you guys had a fun time at the Nectar Warehouse doing the podcast. <sighs> Dude, we had a blast doing that podcast. That was a ton of fun. I was wondering what time y'all – I was listening, cutting the grass, and I'm going, I wonder what time of the day they did this. Was it at night? Like, it was – 
five o'clock on the nose when we got there uh-huh. to do it, and then like always, yeah, we didn't start for Until six quite 6:30. a while. Yeah, it was probably like six fifteen, six thirty. We were having a blast though. That's a good group of guys yeah. that he had with him. How and many we people had, were on? There were five on with four mics, which was like Ooh. brutal. So y'all passing, to, like, somebody was passing mics back and forth. People were passing mics. And I couldn't I was tell, like, so that's good. I was frantically working the board, like yeah. trying to make it work. That's not easy, man. Like, yeah, that's a lot of a lot of moving around. But we got it done, man. It was a it was a good show, and I was blown away meeting those the people that that Sean had around him that dude Liam was a blast like I know I kept wanting to see that dude's artwork like y'all talked about it so much I'm oh like, my god I want to see this guy's Chris Kemp's stuff. artwork is is ridiculous and I didn't even know I was such a big fan like I meant it like I own this shirt I'm wearing right now was oh that's it done by that guy nice yeah and like I, I've been buying up his stuff not knowing it that's and crazy I just keep being like ooh, I like this and then buy it and now it turns out I own like three different things that he did Cool. I was like, well, I'll be damned. Okay. Yeah, you you should have had him autograph it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, I right there. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been. Uh, Where the fuck were you, Troy? <laughs> That's a really good idea. I was here being lame. Sorry. I see that now, but you still have some good ideas. Yeah. I'll give you that. But, yeah, we had a, we had a good time. I now love Folly know. Beach. And that was, it was just cool being there. And then afterwards, I got to go and see, like, the uh, Liam's warehouse who does, like, the CBD honeys. Oh, yeah. That was really cool. So Apis Mercantile, he definitely wants to do something for the podcast, but I haven't talked to him since. He was in a surf competition today, and I didn't, I didn't get a chance to catch Poor up dude. with him. Yeah, he's, he's, he's living the rough life, you know. Yeah. <laughs> surf competition. <laughs> but he was, he was like. Did you give me product? I didn't, I didn't get any because we ended up getting rushed out of there because we were late to go to a dinner or uh-huh. something, and, I, and it got, all got screwed up. And he was like, well, just come back by the warehouse tomorrow. And I'm like. Getting off the island once on vacation is a miracle. Yeah. There's no way I'm pulling it off twice, unfortunately. But they sold all his stuff in Burt's. Like oh, my, yeah. My favorite grocery store down there. I was, like, seeing all his stuff afterwards. I was like, this is badass. So, yeah, it was cool, man. Make it over Taco Boy. Day one, <laughs> of course. Day two, day three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Made it over there. Did a did a shot, like the We're, tequila flight. That nice. always sets you right. Were you in that one sure. hotel? Like, the one hotel? I was in the condos next to the hotel. Okay. And that's where I stayed the one time I went down there. Dude, I went in this hotel. We got in there, right? And the very first day, like, it's like 8 o'clock and the pool is just packed. In the morning? At at night. Like, just like all day, people have been, like, rolling by. And outside, right outside, there is a, this dude had one of those floats that was, like, the giant unicorn Pegasus thing yeah. that can fit like 30 people oh, in yeah. it. And they had that thing out in the ocean dragging it around. And then they had, um, they had this big old sign that said wings. Like, you know, the, you know, the wing surf. Yeah. Sh- like the, it's not really a surf shop. What do you call it? Just beach store. Yeah. yeah the beach. Like they're all at ocean cheesy, city cheap. and everything. Yeah. yeah. So sells they had the offensive shirts and the fucking uh, rebel flag. Sells everything. You need. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> yeah. All the hermit crab shit you got. For sure. Have, yeah. Boogie you know. boards. Yeah. Bo- you all, name the, it. all the 999 boogie boards you can handle. Yeah, they're all hanging in the big windows. <laughs> yeah. yep. That's the one. So, there's usually had- in Virginia Beach, there's one like every other block. You're like, oh, I missed it. Oh, wait, here's another one. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. it. So they had the big old wings like sign. Right. And then they had a big flag that said open. And it was about like five different tents and all these people. And then they had that big giant float pulled up on the beach. And I was like, hey, hon, look, there's a wings pop up. And she's like, they don't have wings in South Carolina. And I'm like, well, that's obviously a wings pop up. Yeah. Then it turns out when I when the pool got descended on by 50 some people right below our room. Yeah. It's extremely oh. Loud, like, oh, oh no. Damn. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on? And then we're out one night, the, the first night out at a bar. And this lady like slides a bottle across the bar and like bumps into us. And she's like, oh, sorry about that. And she's like, hey, how you doing? You know, I'm I'm Leslie Wings or Leslie Wing. And I'm like, Wing. I was like, you guys the one with the giant float? And she was oh. like, oh, yeah, that's us. And I was like, oh, that explains a lot. Yeah. Turns out they do a family reunion every two years. And they had like basically like the third floor of this this is the family that owns the wings? No. Oh. They just picked it up one year because they were like, this is hilarious. And they yeah. bought a big old wings. That's funny. Wow. So I, I was honestly thought it was a pop-up tent. Yeah. And these people had 57 people in the family 
that at your were there. Condo? Yeah. Oh my god. And then they had like a couple other families that had just come along for the ride. Are you a part of the family now? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I started making friends with them, and then there was this one guy, this big army dude, like monster. There was this really creepy ass dude who like walked up to us on the beach, and he was like really slow talking, and like he put like a, Hodor. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Yeah, <laughs> but. <laughs> But really tan. <laughs> okay, so and, not like Hodor. And he like really. he like put this big beetle on the ground. My kids are like, "What? What the hell is that beetle?" Like everyone's kind of like scooting away, and he's like, "You can have it." And I'm like, "I don't want your weird beetle, beetle dude." Bro. Yeah. And he's like, "You can have it." I'm like, "All right, dude, we're not having this conversation." Yeah, like right. walked away. <laughs> Ten minutes later, this guy walks up and puts an empty water bottle in my kid's bucket and walks away. And I'm what? like, what the fuck is going on with this creeper he's special. dude? And he's just standing there drinking a giant, like, 24-ounce Bud Light Lime, just standing on the beach drinking it, arguing with a atrocious woman. Just disgusting. And it had to have been special. Great vacation. I think he was, I think he was on, on some drugs, for sure. Damn. And then we get back up. I'm like, this dude's creeping me out, milling around. We go back up. And then this dude's sitting at the pool. Okay. And he's just sitting there drinking get a, away from this drinking dude. another one. And he just said someone like held the gate and he just you know swept in. Yeah. Uh. Sat down had like his speaker pumping tunes. Actually really good music. I was blown <laughs> away. <laughs> like this psycho. Yeah. But then he would go over and start like playing with people's kids, like like pulling on them, like oh, lifting them up and good. stuff. And I'm like, "Oh, this is not good. Like what are you doing?" It got to the point where like when he opened his second jug of wine, while just sitting there, his hot ass wine just baking in the sun. He's just sipping it and laying there. I was like, "Girls, we're going up." Was there a whole gaggle of like his family members with him? No, he was a solo weirdo rolling around. Whoa! And finally, one of these dude from the Wings family, like, just went over and started going to all the people in his group. He's like, "Do you have a key fob? Do you have a key fob?" Do you, like all the way around. Yeah. And got <laughs> to him. He was like, "Sir, your key fob." Like acting like he was security, security? but the dude yeah, was yeah. so fucked up that he doesn't notice that this. Just giant dude in bathing suit. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh, you don't have your fob? All right, you're gonna have to go," and like kicked him Escorted out. Escorted him out. And nice. I was like, nice. "I was like, hell yeah!" That old was man. brilliant, Mister Wings. And then yeah. he, he turns to all of his all of his family, and he's like, "One of you owes me a Michelob Ultra. If anyone <laughs> right. wants to buy me a beer, I'll be down there." And I saw this from my balcony, and was like, "That's awesome! I'll buy that motherfucker a Michelob yeah. Ultra." And I went down to Burt's and got him a beer. Yeah, you did. Came back out, went on the beach, cracked one, put it in a koozie for him, gave it to him, cracked one myself, and I was like. Thanks, man. That's like, solid, yeah. But like after that, like I'd now met half the family the night prior. Then I'm like down there hanging out. Next thing I know, I'm like an honorary member of the Wings family. <laughs> like everywhere I go, someone's like, <laughs> "Hey, buddy, what's up?" And like buying us shots. Right. Got, it's a weird last name. Where, where are Wing. they from? Uh, upstate New York originally. Most of the connections that I was hanging with were from Texas. They had a bunch of people from Michigan. They're all over. They're driving from upstate New York to Jeez. Charleston, South Carolina. I'm like, geez. That's a hike. That's that's a commitment, man. It's like 15 hours or yeah. something. Yeah, that was ridiculous. That's why they do it every two years. Exactly right. <laughs> yeah. it takes exactly. us that long to get back and then back <laughs> down. But they were fun, man. Yeah. Like Anytime you got 57 crazy-ass people mm-hmm. hanging out. I don't like 57 people. Isn't that the truth? Like, Isn't that the truth? Well, I'd be hard pressed. And trying to like navigate that many people, yeah. it's hard enough if you got two families yeah. at the beach. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Nonetheless, mm. every family, like every family member you got. Yeah. So how many of them were there? Fifty seven family members. Damn. And then two other families that had come along for the ride. I guess you just make an itinerary and you go, either you're in or you're out. No nope. we don't care, but here's <laughs> what we're doing. Yeah. Like sit one out if you want. We're going to do this at noon. Sit it out, or come along. They, if I if I'm remembering correctly, there's not a place in Folly Beach that they can say, "Hey, we got we, we got a reservation for 57. Yeah. We're going to show up tonight. No, they can accommodate them. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, that's something where you get to like rent a park and use picnic <laughs> yeah. tables yeah, and shit. Everything's everywhere you went. It's not like they, they rent were half there. those condos. They really did. I mean, like I said, like the third floor basically yeah. was was them. But at least they were cool. They were they were drunks. Oh, and then every year they have a theme, and last year was like uh, patriotic or two years ago, 
So all these guys have patriotic speedos and shit. Yeah. <laughs> like American flag speedos. And then this year their theme was fur. Fur? <laughs> fur. So it's sweaty ass hot. And then these dudes are coming down in like fur coats and speedos cats, walking hats. around. I saw many coonskin caps, <laughs> like every kind of fur thing. And they would just parade around the pool. Huh. And they're, all, my whole family's like, you got to bring out the donks wrong. Yeah. Like you got to uh. do it. And I could not work up the nerve because they had so many kids. Yeah. And even though they were all in speedos, I was like, do I really want to be like, I'm already in, but do I really want to like, see if I'm really in? I didn't. I you couldn't don't wanna, do it. You don't want to be asked if you have your key fob. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so I, I never actually I pulled out the dogs on that thing. So is that dude gone after he got kicked out? Or did he ever come back? He tried to come back in, and the cops escorted him oh, out. Oh, really? And apparently at some point during the week, he, he like uh, verbally assaulted two women out on the beach. How big was this so guy? This wasn't a vacation. Or this was some rando Yeah, and he kept And he kept telling people. He would like walk up to them and shake their hand, and he would say, I'm in the Air Force. So that they would pull the old, well, thank you for your service, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Like, that was his injury. Oh, you're harmless. My kid. Sure. And I was just like, uh, it, it felt like stolen valor, but I hate to say that. Cause but, I mean, yeah. Was he like a big guy? Like, No, but, I mean, he was in shape. He just was clearly whacked out of his mind. Right. And Anyone that wants to spend that much time with any kid, my spidey senses. Like, even yeah. my kids, if there was people I know that were like, hey, can your kids come over and hang out? Like, all the time, I'd be like, "What's going on here?" Like, yeah, I have decent kids, but you shouldn't want to be around them all the time. Like, that would be weird, especially because you have no kids, sir. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> no kids and no prospects. <laughs> that would be even weirder. Well, this girl looked like she probably had about six kids in her. Oh, he was so he wasn't solo. <laughs> oh, he he, uh. he was, but every once in a while, this like this disgusting woman would show up, uh. and he'd argue with her, and then she'd like stagger back off into the day. Yeah. It was a really weird situation. Damn logo. Long cut grizzly. <laughs> <laughs> like, Give me a log. <laughs> He's like, baby, you shouldn't be dipping so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was a good time, but I'm I'm paying for it now. I mean, I literally just drove back in. So long week of uh this this will be the final night of drinking for a while. But this is day for a couple days. seven, <laughs> I guess. Eight now yeah. at this point. It's rough. Damn. You dry out. I do. I desperately need to dry out. I should probably switch over to these Natter days. Like, you yeah. should. They're fucking Good. amazing. Ely will fist fight you for him, though. Ely's no, over here drinking a plenty. Natter day right now. <laughs> I am. Like, like pot committed to this beer. You love it. I do. Absolutely. I don't think it's bad. I don't know I why like you it. hate it. I love I, it. I, I brought him. He said he was coming. So I, I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't say I hate them. I just don't think I can drink a lot of them. Just, just I can't drink a lot of them in... At Christmas, but I can drink a lot right now. <laughs> what were y'all drinking uh, at the wedding? They have good um, beer and wine and booze. They and stuff? did. My cousin runs a brewery, so he br- he provided nice. a bunch of beer, nice. and then they had a handful of the regular stuff, Coors and other things. Did you get any Manischewitz? That Jewish no, wine? No, I did not. Nah, that's that's mm. that's like a natter day. Yeah, it's interesting. It's good. It's just different. Uh, that's I don't know the, the weather's wine. the weather's perfect for the natter day. I mean, it's, the hotter it's hot, it is, it's hot as balls. And no, yeah. I'll give you that. I'm sweaty hot. So yeah. I like it because it's not too sweet. It's yeah. got a little hint of sweet. It's not like a white claw or a, something like that. Yeah. Well, and you're getting ready to go on vacation, so that's probably I am getting why ready to go on you have vacation. why you have a natter day oh. there. You're in. Tell us you're why in you're vacation <laughs> mode. Yeah. I am. Going? Tell us why you're going on vacation. I'm going to Chesterfield. Nice. Oh, yeah. A staycation, if Yes, you will. it is. So I'm going on six weeks of paternity leave. Paternity? Yes. How old's the baby? With the P. <laughs> the baby is 10 weeks, coming up on 10 weeks so old. So taking a delayed paternity. Yeah, yes, right. which is actually the thing, if you know about paternity. Most okay. people take it when the lady goes off. That's so she goes back to work, and then you stay home. You, you take over. I have a question yes. for you. Yes. Is, is there a timeline your company says you have to take it within? Great question, Stu. He's 16. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, I'm taking off. I get 12 weeks. We're going weeks. to Cancun. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I get 12 weeks paid, Dude, and you have to take good. it. That's awesome. You have to take it within a in secession something. within the first year of the kid being born. So you can take it any time. You get a whole year like to do that? Like, yeah, so I don't have to take it any right away. I can take it any time within the first year I can take it, but I can't take like – Three week weeks here. here, three weeks there. It has to be all of it at once, but any time within the first year. Because it would be awesome if you could do 
12 months of one week off. Right, exactly. Do but women have that option, or do they have to take it? I mean, I guess they certainly want to take yeah, it right then healing, and there. I mean, so. yeah, they're going right. through that. Um, so did I hear you right, though? You say you're gonna, if you take six weeks, you can't take the remaining six weeks if it's not correct. all in a row? That's correct. So you can't say, ah. Yeah. Do you so, feel weird yeah, taking ab- it? Oh, dude, <laughs> I have been stewing over this. I called, no pun, I called <laughs> you to talk about it. I've talked about it with a handful of people because I feel super weird about it. Yeah, I would It's like, I don't know like, how to deal with it. I don't remember paternity. And that's the reason I'm only taking six. Like instead I, of the full 12. Instead of the full 12. Because I'm like, there's a stigma to guys taking paternity yeah. leave. And, you know, you talk to half the people in the company are like, take it all. Well, everyone's like, take it all because no one's going to tell you not to. Yeah. But it's one of those things where, hell, if you're gone from your job for three months, is your boss going to wonder what the hell you do? Yeah, yeah. That's you what, what I always mean? think. Can like, you, if you <laughs> can take a month off. Like, how do I validate your yeah. existence? Right. No, that's funny. That's like my fear, right? Exactly. I go away for three months, and they yeah. go, you know what? We really did well. Our numbers are up. Right. Yeah. Like, we just got to help you if, like, something weird pops up. And, we like, just drafted this guy out of UVA. He's coming in. Yeah. <laughs> your sales team, like, has a really stellar three months while you're gone. Yeah. And they're like, ooh. Correlation says yep. that. Like, for that's sure. sketch, yeah, right? That's, like, that's yeah. a yeah. legitimate concern. But there's a couple of guys. And that's the other thing, too, is, like, really, like, like accelerating your career is another question too, but there's like, s- like senior executives that I know that are taking twelve weeks, currently. So I'm like, God, man, there's people t- high up in the company that are taking yeah. all of their time. Well, so it's a relatively new thing. It is, and I was telling somebody in a, earlier we were talking about it, but I guarantee well, at least you, over in, here, in twenty years, it will be just a yeah. complete standard thing. Yeah. You know where it's, you know. They do it back to back. Yep. Well, it's only in the last couple of years that I've had a lot of like, there's been a lot of people in my work who were like, oh, no, I'm taking paternity for a couple yeah. of months. And I was like, oh, I don't. Because I remember I took like four days off. Yeah. I took a week. I took a week for both my boys. Yeah. Yeah. But it's about but what, that I, was what I think but I, had, of. I had to burn my leave. Like that wasn't paternity leave. That was. Oh, yeah. This is totally separate. Yeah. So that doesn't yeah. even touch your PTO or anything That's like that. That's crazy. Mm. Yeah. Actually, and I, I've seen, I was covering for for a girl when she was out on maternity leave and she took maternity leave to the full amount and then burnt two weeks of vacation at the end of it. Yeah, that's what I did. I took two weeks of PTO when he was born. So, okay. So you already had a little bit of a break since you burned it. In fact, the HR lady told me that she was like, if you want to break it up, just take PTO whenever now for a couple weeks and then take your maternity later. So I love your H- I yeah. love your HR person giving yeah. out giving out loopholes. Right. Like that's brilliant. Isn't it? That's wild, mm. man. So this st- is I think the stigma's gone. No, no, I think no. It's still there yeah. because people our age still feel it in their soul. What I'm saying is it's the kids there's that a are, stigma the he's kids not that are fifteen right now yeah. are have gonna have no stigma in their brain. They're gonna be like, Yeah, I'm taking it all. Why wouldn't I? Yeah. Of and course. Whereas we're like Ooh. Yeah. There could be a I stipulation. Feel weird like, not working. Ely, we're going to need a picture of you holding your son every day yeah. to let us know that you're actually doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just palm trees in the background. He's yeah. holding his kid. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I never took fraternity leave, but I did do a year of being a stay-at-home dad, and I got the same. You know, somebody said, hey, what do you do? That's uh, right. I'm a stay-at-home dad. Yeah. And they're like, hmm, okay. You cool. Really, you're, you're, okay, you're doing that? It's a weird, you know. It is. It's like, well, Same I, got, type to, of I got, an oppor- got an opportunity to I do it. Do, yeah. I do look at you differently now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You well, that year, that, year's, respect for that, that year's over and gone now. Yeah. So. <laughs> Slightly down my nose. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't be a stay-at-home parent. Oh, no, that's not a. It's not an evil I wish on you myself. You couldn't yeah. do it. Why? There's the good. It's just a lot of work. It's a, it's, yeah. It's, it's a, it's. Like, yeah. I so, think I'm saying, is it because of the. Like, dealing with kids that long is yeah. you know what you're saying? Well, I guess like, I say I couldn't do it. I could do it if money wasn't an option because if you can go and do and, and do exciting, fun things with your kids, I think it would could be actually fun. But if you're living paycheck to paycheck or not even to that level, but a lot of stay-at-home parents do it out of monetary reasons. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so you get to just stay home and be at home all day and – clean the house and do all the chores which is work for sure but like 
being locked in your house that much would drive me crazy. It was a tough adjustment at first. I mean, but you work from home. Exactly. So yeah. it, it, to me, it's the wrangling of the kids that long. But I work from home, too, when I'm not in the field, but my kids aren't there. So it's like, oh, yeah. cool. Exactly. It's heaven. Yeah. So you live, when you're a stay-at-home parent, you live for school. Oh, yeah. When you get those eight hours. But then, like, I found myself, I was like, okay, I'm just going to uh, take a week, and at the end of the week, I'll clean up the entire house. You can't do that. Yeah, no You got to, like, there's got to be a room, it. a schedule, all this other stuff. And it, and I spent a ton of money doing, because I was like, I'm bored, and I'm going to take the kids yeah. to go do this, especially yep. in the summertime, you know. King's Dominion, out to eat, yeah. get them out of, you know, Chrissy's hair. But it's it's not – you got to have a certain personality for it, and I, you know, I've been sales for a reason because I can't sit behind a desk. We, right. we I, I know a family. You actually know the family. Um, they live in my neighborhood. They had four kids. Two of them were in elementary school. They had a third one, and then a fourth one. They pulled the two out of elementary school to homeschool them, and they walked to school. And I, for the life of me, can't understand it because I'm like, send those elementary school kids to school. At least while you're still dealing with the two that aren't in school, like that is free daycare for you. Like yeah. your taxes are paying for that. And then if you want to homeschool them when they're all in school, maybe. But I just can't imagine trying to homeschool the two grade school kids while you're dealing with a, a preschool and an infant. Like, did they have an agenda? Like why they wanted to get homeschool? Of course, everybody does. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess they they weren't happy with the. No one schooling. does it because it's easier. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, they do it because they don't. I, did, push, I never asked. I mean, I assume throat. they just yeah. aren't happy with the school system yeah. or whatever. If there was a good social network, I would homeschool in a heartbeat. So they sit, So I did. Kn- I do know that there's like a website that basically sets up your itinerary, and sh- they are in a group that like yeah. they're in a group that does like they meet up like once every <laughs> week or every two weeks or something. All the kids and do like group outings, and I mean, it sounds pretty structured. But still so- sounds like way more work than elementary school, than, I just than keep, public school. <laughs> oh. I keep thinking about that kid who was, he said he was some little comedian, bit, but he said, I was homeschooled. I went to prom with my mom. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, God. <Yeah. laughs> what? Oh, that's not good. But, yeah, you're right. The social network is what's missing, and you got to get that connection with all those homeschoolers. Right. I mean, sports, all Would stuff you agree that most homeschoolers are nerds? Are smart come come out better prepared than other kids? Most, most. I wouldn't all. say most. I would I, say most for sure. I think you have to have a special kind of parent to pull that off. I've now definitely see, seen sorry. it. So what you're thinking is past, because I used to think that too. Because but now the homeschooling they can function on their own. So homeschooling is set up now to where this is the things that they need to get done. And then you basically grade their shit. But the parent has to give a shit is all is oh, what I sure. guess I'm saying. The parent Absolutely. really has to be fully committed to, to making that I've work. always thought that you learn just as much at school, not educationally, to prepare you for the real world than you do. Like, so you go to school, you're well, going to... Soft you're, skills. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're going you're gonna to learn all your social skills. You're going to have a bully. That's, you're going to have some uh, problems that you have to deal with. You're not getting that at, at home school. The social, yeah, the it, social it, aspect that you're talking about is my only concern about the homeschool. They come out better prepared to like tackle the world for sure. But the interpersonal reactions, yes, with other, maybe Abs- that's majority true. of them are are much worse than on that in that aspect. But I think there's a simple solution to that, and I think what your what your neighbors are doing is close. But if you could figure out a way, whether it's when they were done with their shit, take them to daycare. Yeah, for the rest yeah. of the day, or something to that effect. Have yeah. them involved in sports. Yeah, they do I think sports that would solve and stuff like that. It. That's where you know them from. Yeah, from uh, yeah, jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Dropping yeah. F- like five hunge yeah. a month in jujitsu cost, by the way. Yeah, or whatever the hell. It Did was. you get locked in like a twelve-month contractor deal? Like some of those jujitsu and co- yeah, this one is it's like you can't like just try it out. It's like, oh, no, you can definitely try it out for a month. Without signing, my anything. youngest yeah. one did taekwondo and it cost a That's fortune. Taekwondo, really? That's what I was yeah, but no, yeah, this, the but you got to be doing stuff like that if you're homeschooling. Like yeah. you have to have them in some kind of social setting where they're getting out, they're getting exercise. Yes, they're exactly. They're doing all that, and that's their opportunity to socialize. Right. Yeah. But th- it does. And that takes a, st- a special kind of parent because I mean, I'm. You're not only are you a stay at home, 
you're homeschooling, then you're on the road pretty much. Yeah, every I mean, that's night. Tw- that's twenty. Well, we were just, it's funny that we're talking about this. And I'm Are you not considering s- it? I'm not saying this that we're going to do this, but we were just today on the ride home um, from the wedding talking about – we had some family in California that couldn't make the wedding. They're like, "Oh, you should come out there." And then my dad's in Arkansas now, and she's like, "Oh, you should come out there too." I'm like, "We should just fucking RV this bitch, yeah. go out there." And then I was like, "We just pull him out of the school. We both work from home. We can work from the RV the whole way. Oh yeah, just homeschool his ass in the back of the RV For one and year. go whenever the fuck yeah. you want. Yeah, it, if only a year. Could you exactly could you hold down a job and homeschool? For sure. Yes, that's what I was trying to tell you. Is the homeschooling so? I've talked to friends that do it because I was interested in it, and they're like, the commitment of the parent that you're thinking is not what it is nowadays. Nowadays, it's like, okay, Jacob, here's the five things you need to review. Come get me when you're done, and I'll te- grade your homework and your shit. That's what you do. So, it's not like I'm writing on the chalkboard showing my kid what well, to do. Well, at first, you have to, though, to get them to read and no, write. No, because just like in regular school, they're – you're probably on on the Chromebook or something. It's yeah. All I mean, if you're starting from kindergarten, clearly yeah. you're going to be more involved. But once the kid knows how to, so go log- read this, and then I'll give you a quiz, and then we'll yes, take it. Yes, but from once there. the kid knows how to log on to the computer, you're like, this is what you have to do. You we, do we, it. I grade it. Well, you have to think the homeschooling is going to be more efficient, right? Oh, way more yeah. efficient. Yeah. Right. Exactly. I mean, I have seen a handful of brilliant. Kids so have I, my old it. boss was that way. But you also see certain kids that like were homeschooled because they already had developmental issues. Yes, for the sure. The parent was like, yeah. I don't trust that they can handle this. I want right. to I, yeah. I at least know this is a loving environment for me to help the child. So Would maybe, you agree that like sixty percent of homeschooling is religion based? Probably a huge 70. chunk of it because it's a yes. moral problem. Right. They don't want them learning that shit. That, well, that word see, right I don't there. want my kid learning that shit, but it hasn't really, isn't so much religion based. Your silly science. <laughs> yeah, just. But I think a lot of it is, to, is morality. Well, it's not know? yes, yeah. for sure. You want to teach them your set of morals, and yeah. that you can't control. Right. Well, I don't not, care about the curriculum. Yeah, yeah. It's not the it's not the it's the exposure to the other. It's not the class curriculum in public schools. It's the exposure to the other kids. Yeah, well, yeah. It, no, it's also the it's it's also the drive and the goals of the <laughs> school. It's it's all of that. Well, yeah. I do have to say, I'll just say this real quick. Penelope is going into seventh grade. She did it in sixth grade. At Bailey Bridge, they do this thing that's called Summit Learning, and it's called pr- it's project based learning, learning, and it's basically college. Yeah. Because they give her projects that are seventy five percent of her grade, and she has to complete it before the end of the year. She doesn't get a that's nine, cool. She doesn't get a nine week grade or anything like that. It's, yeah. Here's your seventy five percent of your projects. Here's three quizzes, and you got nine percent or seventy percent projects, twenty twenty percent quizzes, and then the rest is extra credit. And she's just on a timeline, and she has yeah. to keep track of her calendar. And they say, here, go. Yeah, and that preps them for life. Yeah, it's it's great. I'm glad they're doing it, but it's um, – Yeah. You know, they got I just stuff. think I've always thought you can go to a, a, a quote-unquote bad public school system. You can go to a quote-unquote good mm-hmm. public school system. It all depends on the parents at home and what they hold their kids accountable for because yep. I went to a quote-unquote good high school, a good uh, elementary school growing up in Hanover and all that shit. C's were totally acceptable in my house. Yeah. My wife grew up in Chesapeake. Her school system wasn't as, quote, unquote, good as Hanover's. Anything less than an A, not flying. Right. Like, <laughs> who's more successful? I was about to say, your wife's yeah, a genius. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's like Emma. They were giving out the, you know, the end of the year. They have, like, award ceremonies and stuff. She got a couple of awards for uh, a few classes here and there, and it, it was great. But when they came across uh, attendance, you know, they give these – I'm like, they're giving awards for something you're supposed to do, which yeah. is show up at school. I'm right. like, this is ridiculous. But at the same time, I was thinking back in my head, Emma probably missed more days of school than anybody else in there, well, and, she's a, and she's AB honor roll. That's because you right. were in charge. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, let's go break breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Let's go do something else. The kid was not right. making it to the bus stop on time. Yeah. <laughs> I think grading attendance is good because it teaches you you need to be accountable. Like, Oh, I'm just I, I get you, but it's like. At the same time, at this award ceremony, they – yes, your kid does well. Here, we reward you. But everybody had something. Yeah. Exactly. It's like, right. uh, Well, that is a problem when everyone gets something. That means no one gets anything. Yeah, which is part of it. Yeah. A lot of the homeschooling is a, is a re, you know, a rebuke on society, I think. Yeah. True. Yeah. They see all the things that drive them nuts in the media and all over the place, and they see – 
that as I a, just think you can't get away from it. So why try to raise your children? Just now, if you're going to do something like you're talking about, to me, that's experience based. That's totally that's different. Awesome. I think. Yeah. If you're going to live in the neighborhood and your kids are still going to go play sports with the same kids that they'd be at school with and hang out the pool and go play in the streets and yeah. you know, like you're still going to they're still going to have the bullies, the bad language, all the things that you're trying to shield them from, yeah. that still is going to come up. But if like, you want them to learn physics, yeah, then you should probably homeschool them. Yeah. Right. Unless Which you, I don't yeah. I couldn't imagine trying to homeschool my kid. Like, I just couldn't. It's just a lot of work. At, at a certain a age, like maybe right. maybe in the elementary school years, probably I could get the curriculum, learn it myself, and, yeah. and pass it A lot of it depends along. on the kid, too, how driven they are. Now, I would love you know. to do what, you, what you're talking about. That would be cool. Yeah. Because the experience. But that's a life experience. That's different. That's yes. like if you really hit the road. Oh, yeah. And goes do all that and, and You teach, will learn stuff. That's different. And the places you stop, there's kids. You go play and, yeah. you, you know. Hangs out with them. Yeah, your kid, your kids don't seem to be starved for yeah, interaction yeah. Right, right, with other right. kids. So I don't, I don't worry about that as much. But it is interesting. You're going on paternity leave. You're bringing the kids home. It's a very different, different Ely I'm dealing it's with. Crazy, here today. isn't it? This is wild. You started drinking Natter Days, and you're like, take the kids. <laughs> I'm taking a but vacation. Everybody knew I like Natter Day ahead of time. <laughs> True. I if guess. you were like, oh, is there a beer that we could have that Ely would like? You'd be like, that Natter Day shit. He'll Actually, that's a fact. You'd for be like, sure. He'll like Natter Days. Yeah. yeah, you shouldn't be shocked by this, dude. I'm I'm not shocked. I'm just shocked. It's just cool seeing that <laughs> pink can in your meaty paw. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? It's medium rare. <laughs> the Marine's got a white claw and a Natter Day in yeah. front of him right now. Like, damn. Yeah. That's what you got to do. You gotta I don't give a fuck about that shit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. No. Who cares? Joke away. Shit's delicious. Hey, I'll give you that. It's tasty, yeah. but jeez. You drink your dog That's, shit. That's the shit you have to deal with in high school, right? Like, it is. What What shirt? Where'd you get that shirt? Yeah. Oh, it's from Walmart. You right. suck. Exactly. Right. I saw a drunk-ass dude today. I was walking into the, the Kroger around the corner. There's this guy walking behind me, and he's like, he's like not a very tall dude. Like He's like a short dude, yeah. you know? Some drunk leans out his window and goes, hey, buddy. And I'm like, huh? And he goes, what's your kid's name? I'm like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. Like, why are you talking shit to this random dude yeah. like, through me? You know what I mean? What? And I just turned around and looked at the guy and I go, what the hell was that about? And he's like, I don't know. And I'm just like, I didn't know how to react. I wanted to be like, hey, fuck you, man. But at the same time, You're I'm like. some weird kid. Wait, this dude said it to you? This dude goes, hey, buddy. To you. Yes. Oh. I turn and he goes, what's your kid's name? And I turn what? around and there's a little dude right behind me. That's not yours. Oh. oh I, gotcha. I was like, you called you called on me so you could make fun of this guy instead yeah. of just making fun of that yeah. dude to his face. It was kind of a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what gives you the gall? Like, what gives you the balls to actually lean out your window and decide to holler at two dudes? And the funny thing is, he's like this little that ass drunk. Yeah. funny as fuck. <laughs> See, I had a very different reaction. Really? I was, you don't think that's funny as fuck? He's walking behind you like your fucking son. That shit is great. I get the joke. <laughs> I just was <laughs> telling what's funny about it again because I don't. Yeah. Think <laughs> Start over. <laughs> what? Your Dude, that kid's I, name. I that can't believe this, this is the dude. reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who he is anymore. I'm having a tough time. Have you seen the baby? You thought dude? I was going to be like, that's uh, wrong. No, I that's knew you so wouldn't wrong. be like that, but I did think you'd be like, that guy's an asshole. Oh, dude. he's definitely an asshole. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm bored with that okay. for sure. I'm well, it's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> Have you seen the great. bagel guy that is yes. bopping around the dude. internet? Thank God you brought that up. Dude. How fucking crazy is that? Did you hear his response and all this? Oh, he's like trying to. Hold on, who, motherfuckers who is stuff? the bagel? So you've guy. been gone. So oh, there's this dude God. on yeah, the I have been not online for this a week. This dude is five foot tall, and he, there's videos of him. That's not exaggeration. Oh, no. I know this because they decided to give him like the mini bagel or something. Oh, dude. Something so he like goes into a 7 Eleven or into a bagel shop, and people just ask him how tall he is, and he loses his goddamn mind. And well, on, in his defense. No, 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 no. Let's rewind. So. There's a whole video of TMZ tracked him down and interviewed him after the fact. And he's fucking bananas yeah. about his whole life. Yeah. People, women online, women in general, giving him shit because he's five foot tall. So he goes in this bagel place and this lady behind the counter like bit her lip and he 
fucking <laughs> loses it. My whole goddamn life, people have been doing this shit to me. And, and then some dudes are in there, and they're like smirking, so he starts talking shit to them. He's like, the, the short jokes have gotten to the boiling point, and he fucking he loses it. Yes. So no one it. actually made an active joke, though. It's like he just interpreted the situation. He saw the lady behind the counter make a facial expression, and he went bananas. He's like, you don't think I know what the fuck that is? I've been looking at it my whole life. I've been getting it from women my whole goddamn life. Like, he goes postal. Did you see the other video what of him the in the 7-Eleven? Like, th- there's a video of him in the 7-Eleven, and he's holding the phone up, and he's like, this motherfucker asked me how tall I was. He didn't ask. I'm, it's 5 in the morning. <laughs> bu- I come in here to buy some coffee and a fucking donut, and first thing out of his mouth was, not good morning. It's how fucking tall are you? Yeah. Fuck you. Like, like and yes. I mean, in his defense... Five foot tall fucking has sucks, to suck. dude. Like you're probably oh, yeah. better being a dwarf. You're probably fucking better being a dwarf. Yeah, and like he didn't back off of it when he was rational. So TMZ found him like in the parking lot, rational days later. Yeah. And he was like, "Look, I've been getting fucked with my whole life, especially by women, for how short I am. Yep. Nobody wants to date me." This chick makes his facial expression, and I just lost it. Like he owned up to everything that it was. Yeah, you know what I mean. Everybody was like. And it's funny because he's just – he's storming out of the restaurant, cussing at the women behind the counter. All you women. All yeah. y'all. Oh, Yeah, God. it was like the pathetic guy that can't get a date finally lost it is exactly what it was. Yeah, because he's like 45, 50. Can you imagine – being, oh yeah! Like going through that. Short, for, yeah. I I wish this guy behind me had had the same reaction. I feel like we that should play awesome. this really quick so we can watch it. There it is. No, well, you need to rewind it, dude. He says he calls this dude in the blue shirt out, and this dude in the blue shirt does not hesitate. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, "Come on!" He's like, "I'll kick your ass." This dude just pounces on him. Yeah, exactly. Like, it is done. Right. He just snaps on him. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that he is. Abs- oh yes, I love him. He's throwing papers. He's freaking out. This Women is, in general on dating oh, sites. On, you know what, though? That is a huge problem right now. Like, people's, like, So I see it on Reddit Tinder all profi- the time. And the Tinder profiles all the time are, yeah. like, yeah. if I you're not over six feet tall, please do yeah. not swipe right. You see what the guy's remarks are, right? <laughs> what, it, what do you weigh? What Why you would weigh? you ask me that? <laughs> oh, you're judging me on height. Yeah. I'm going to judge you on weight. Apparently, Ange- <laughs> I was pretty proud of myself for this one. Somebody and we were talking about this story, and someone was like, and he, then lives a, he lives in. He lives in. You're bald. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about this sh- this, and somebody was like, he lives in a van too, and I was like, it's probably oh. a minivan. <laughs> 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 a minivan. No, oh, he went there. <laughs> a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I've got so much awesome. room for activities. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah, he no. was tiny and angry as fuck, dude. Dude, I, like I have friends that, and I'm sure you guys do. They're like five, six, five, seven. They get fucking just plastered, dude. Like people just are so rude to them. Can yeah. you imagine being five foot even? Oh, I have a good friend that's five foot, or maybe even under. And I think about it all the time. I'm like, his whole fucking life. Yeah. yeah. He. Even if nobody says anything, he yes. gets the eyes yep. everywhere he goes. You know he does. He's well, walking I mean, behind there's, Brandon. There, there's the whole. Next yeah. You know, What's your kid's name? <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's the whole truth between. I mean, behind the uh, short, you know, short man's complex. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. If you're getting it all, your entire life, and and at the same time, you know, they say uh, tall guys or whatever tall people get a leg up. Normals you know, just, do say normal. <laughs> <laughs> Normal. If you're, why are we gonna be you're quote unquote normal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's, okay, give me the what's what's the normal? <laughs> give me that. Not scale. five feet. Yeah. <laughs> Any, anything taller than Bagel Dude. Yeah. Anything taller than Bagel Dude. Because you know, like if you're a dwarf, some chicks are probably in the dwarfs. Like, but, yeah, for sure. That's what I was to say. This video had to get him some tang, right? Probably some crazy tang. For sure. Yeah. From the four foot. Yeah. Four foot eight. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Actually, are they, yeah, that's the best thing that ever happened. What's to weird him. is let's rewind this. Got a question. Are there chicks that like way shorter dudes? There has to be. But, I mean, they're super not prevalent, right? No, yeah. I, don't know. I would say No, you know prevalent. what's weird? Sometimes you see, like, the really tall girl with the really short dude. I feel like I see that. But does she, like, have short hair and, like, no, I just think barks that orders? 
No, I just think that sometimes the tall chicks always felt weird for being tall. She says, fuck it. I feel easier, like I see it's that. It's easier to put the ball gag on that way, probably. Well, duh. Yeah. That's obvious. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> the riding, the <laughs> the bit in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Yeah. This, I wanted to say something that you would have had to cut out <laughs> so bad. But <laughs> no, I appreciate that because yeah. I don't want to edit this shit. Okay. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ask me later. I'll tell you. But. I mean, you got to understand, like, it's got to be in your DNA. It's like, well, it is. His DNA said short. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying if you're women, most women like men that are bigger, taller, bigger than them, because in your DNA, it's like, this dude will protect me. I mean. Yeah, he can get the shit off the top shelf. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, it's weird. It's like in MMA, you see a lot of those dudes that are yoked that kick the shit yeah. out of people. They're all like 5'8". Oh, five, yeah. nine, like they're little guys like to what Stu was saying about the Napoleon complex. It's like yeah, that's just very well, you real. find yourself in an industry Definitely. where it works to your advantage. Yeah. You know, MMA, they're like, oh, 150 pounds. Like there's a division for that. You yeah. can beat the shit out of yeah. other. People. OK, so in normal life, you getting it. <laughs> what is the uh, getting it. what's what's the job that you do that you get a leg up for being that size? You mean, are we getting to C&I people? Are we going back to C&I <laughs> no, people? we are not. Uh, minor? <laughs> okay. Hey, Troy, we're about to do a deli if you want to. No, I'm they sorry. Say, they say tall people, like, just get further in life, like, just. Well, same with better looking people. Yeah. It's the same problem. How tall would you like to be if you could snap your fingers right now? Oh, I'd be two inches tall. I'd be six, six two, I think, is about right. You don't want to be, like, too tall. I'd be, two, I'd be two inches You're, taller. Two and a half. I'd be I'm six, six two. Four. Yeah, I agree. Six, six, six four. four. You're, I think yeah. six four is perfect. You're six two. Yeah, six four. Yeah, six six. Yeah. You start holding <laughs> away from Stu. Six <laughs> six. Six six. You start to get a little freakish. Yeah. Then like everyone goes, "How tall are you?" Yeah, all and the then time. You get that all the time, which yeah. starts to upset you the other way. For sure. Six three. Six four is like. Yeah, I think that's that's the sweet spot. I was supposed to say six foot even. That's my dream height, right where I am. Yeah, you're supposed to be happy with yourself. That's a Homer answer. Well, I was yeah, just play the game. Some millennial answer. Okay, okay, so the answer's, the answer's six threes yeah. right there. That's so Brendan fucking up. That's Brendan fucking up a hypothetical. For well, sure. I, I can't, oh, yeah, make, yeah. I can't no, no. make myself perfect taller. I am. I'm I perfect. can't make myself taller. Yeah. Why would I wish exactly. that? Yeah. This, this is, is like wishing my dick <laughs> smaller. Big wish. So if you're wishing, <laughs> if you're at your preferred height, if you're saying, okay, I want to be six two, six three, then what's your preferred partner's height? Female. Oh, he should be about six. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Wait, I mean, she should be five five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Joy, tell my wife. That's exactly how tall my perfect partner. Right is. there, you go. Exactly. You are correct, sir. <laughs> All right, I'm excited about this. I got a, I got a, a Star I was Hill just beer. Shitting on this beer the other day. That's exactly why I got oh, Star thank Hill. You. Well, no, thank not you. this particular, but the brewery. You were saying you hated Star Hill beer because yes. you went to a concert and all they had was Star Hill beer. No, someone else went and they said it sucked. <laughs> and then I was saying, yes, I don't like this beer, that brand of beer either. Oh man, Who was it? Who did go to that concert? This is going to be a guaranteed winner. What do we have here? This is the Star Hill Wild Heart Hoppy Blonde Ale. Comes in at 5.2%. A alcohol. bright and drinkable hoppy blonde with intense flavors of pear, watermelon, and stone fruit. Finishes smooth and delicate. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like butt crack. <laughs> oh my God. Ely smelled it and the look on his face. Oh. It looked like he woke up and he was five foot tall, five feet tall. <laughs> Trying to order a bagel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ely's just pissed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that beer is interesting. Mm. It All is right, interesting. Well, it is. For man, sure. It's, it's <laughs> it smells <laughs> like butt crack. <laughs> wow. What's with the mini bagel? After a 105-degree yeah. day. Right, yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> it is good. It's bright and drinkable. you got to be excited about this, Ely. I'm can you yeah, taste, can super you take, stoked. Can't you tell? Can you taste so the stone is, fruit? Yes. Stone fruit. Obviously. It's the notes of pear come through. I'm telling you, these microbrews are just fucking with us now. Oh, I was thinking like, about this earlier just today. Like, man. Push it out Do, there and give it a cute name. I, I mean, we've talked about this so many times. I don't even know I want to get into it again. But 
How many people counts? like yeah hops because people tell them to like hops? I feel like we All cover this. Them. We cover this every All few the time, weeks. But I it's know. like it's, I keep going back to regular beer, right? I know. What percentage of people like regular beer when they first drink it? Very small. I agree with you. This has I been did. an acquired taste. Yeah. So, but but then I guess the argument is squashed because almost everything is acquired, right? You you, you drink a lot of stuff because people tell you. Yeah. So to. I got a buddy who is just in in Costa Rica. I'll, I'll keep him nameless. And he was sitting there, and he was having a beer, like Pico. a be- beachfront beachfront bar, and yeah. like a true Costa Rican, like dilapidated kind yeah. of rundown. Like they've got the back seat out of a, a Chevy sitting there. You yeah, can yeah, sit yeah. on that nice. kind of place. And he was like, you know what? I'm gonna have let my kid have have this beer. And the kid's first sip of beer, he goes, "Hey, I like this." Really? And then How the, was kid the kid ended up having like half the beer. Three. What beer was it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming it's an Imperial. Because okay. it's Costa Rica. How old was it, kid? But do you think... Three. Uh, <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> mid-teens. Yeah. You know? So, do you do you think the kid has had beer before and he was playing his dad? Because I do believe it's an acquired taste. No, because I give yeah. my seven-year-old beer all the time when we go out. To and flight, he likes And I'll it. get a flight and, and he'll be like, Dad, what's that? I'll be like, you're not going to like this. And he'll be like... Now, he's probably just playing me. He's like, yeah. oh, that's good. And I'm like, no, it's not, dude. <laughs> Yeah. So you think yeah. some people do just like beer the first time they try? I it. liked I liked beer the first time, but I was drinking a watered down light beer. You know, like I can't imagine picking up a hoppy beer for the first time at thirteen or fifteen or eighteen and being like, "Yeah, I agree yes. with you." Yes, yeah, this is great. Yeah, this beer I've changed opinions on three times as I'm sipping it. Honestly, this really, is, yeah, I, the first sip was awful. I, I agree with you actually. Yeah. I'm 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 confused. I still can't find the mango. Or the stone fruit. It's hidden behind all that funk. Yep, that's right. It's getting less funky with each sip. I know. For that's me, why I'm starting palate. to like I'm intrigued. But I do like wheat beer. So I'll I'll start this one. Because I'm I'm I did not like this beer when I tasted it. Which means it can't get a super high score because yeah. it offended me on, on the intro. But the more I'm drinking it, the more I am tasting more of that fruity shit that they're trying to do. And I think that's because the wheat beer base helps this it. Is, it's or a the blonde. blonde. The blonde, I guess. But it tastes more wheat beer yeah. than blonde. So it actually got okay. Like the hops is all right and it's got a little fruitiness to it. I don't like the beer, but I like it. Which means I'm going to have to give it a two and a half because yeah. I can't, I can't put it in any direction here. It's it's got enough hops that I'm like, ooh, it's hoppy, and I'm like, oh, but it's fruity, and it's not. The fruit does cut the hops. It does, yeah. but I don't, I don't like it or love it. It's a two and a half. On a really good day, I'll give it a three, but it's a two and a half for me. Yeah, hmm. I'll go. I, I'm w- I'm with Brendan. The first taste, I was like, this is trash. I'm, I can't even finish it, but. Three or four sips in, it's tasting smoother, better, yeah. less hoppy. It's weird. It's just cleaner. The fruit's cutting the hops down, and I'll give it a two and a half right down the middle, too. Like, so I can see where somebody might like like this beer. I'm not that person, but it's it's not garbage. It's weird, right? Yeah. Still? It's got- not garbage. <laughs> Put it on the can, people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're talking about stone fruit. You might as well just put that on there too yeah i mean it's uh Dude, I will, the, the food pairings does it have a food yeah it does it have a food pairings you want to see yeah, that look it says the food pairings yeah see i hate when they say this <laughs> yeah. shit. wood okay. grilled scallops what yeah. doesn't go good with wood grilled scallops <laughs> scallops <laughs> all right go ahead Stu. how sorry. often are you eating wood grilled scallops no like, shit where do you pick that up all right go ahead Stu. sorry i, no, I was gonna say um i'm not a big hops fan but uh this actually doesn't it doesn't linger like I thought it would, and do you have to let it linger? No, I'm saying like the, the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me just hold it right there. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> little cranberries joke for the crowd yeah. out there. <laughs> I don't taste any of those. No, there's no <laughs> yeah. cranberries. Um, no, I'm not a I'm not a big fan, but yeah, I'd, I'd go two and a half. I'd give it maybe less than that because I'm really not thrilled with the marketing on it. Their marketing is this trash. Is, this it is the colors, the bottle. They all you got it. Like you would have loved this Revelry Brewery, yeah, because right? this guy did all the artwork for every single can. And each one was individually done, and 
it was wild how different his stuff was. I was I was blown away at the work this guy had done. So I I mean I, I'm, I, I'm just saying there's a I say I honestly believe there is a certain mindset when you see good artwork marketing on a can that can put you in the mood like hey this is going to you know. well I I think we've proven that in the yeah. fact that I love Coors Light. If you look in the fridge right now, there is a case of Miller Light because yeah. I have gotten away from the marketing. I've I've given up. But I realized that I had fallen prey to marketing my entire life. Yep. But the Miller Lite is being successful with the retro marketing. Yeah. Sure. Actually, you yeah. remember when you and I, when the when the little, the weird bottles came back for a little bit, and then, Troy, you and I started buying them, even yep. though we were Coors Light yep. guys. So we did fall for that marketing. Did you see that Natty Light ad that was like, and we can spell right? Yes. yes. Which is yes. hilarious. Yes. That's great. Yep. All right. So, Ely. Yeah. What do you think? I of took this a winter? sip of it. I haven't t- tasted it since. Man, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I don't follow. What's wrong with the beer? It's good enough for me. It. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first word in the name of it? Star. No. Star Hill <laughs> Brewery. <laughs> How many stars do you give it out of five? The Hoppy Blonde. <laughs> You're right. It's the Wild Heart Hoppy Blonde. Well, now that I've had another sip. Yeah, something, still something tells me he hasn't <laughs> changed his mind. I mean, the hops aren't as heavy. Yeah, I'll give it that. But it tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be technical. Don't hold back no. your feelings. <laughs> he <laughs> just pushed it away. Yeah. Do you see that? Like that's how my kid pushes yeah. away yeah. Brussels sprouts <laughs> right, right there. Yeah. Yeah. That was the exact same push. He's like I need yeah. a day day around this place. Yeah. 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 Right. Yep. We just tried to homeschool Ely, and he pushed it away for sure. <laughs> Yeah. So Dad, I'm going back to school. Um, when do you go back to work, Dad? <laughs> six weeks. Yeah, six weeks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Two and a half. I think across the board, we all say yeah. this is a tolerable but not good beer. Yeah. I don't think any of us can recommend it. I'm shocked it. that you don't like it. Why don't you like it? It's just not doing any of the things I want it to do. What else would you like it to do? I want it to either be more blonde or more hoppy. I don't like that it's... I, I like the fact that it's got a little bit of fruit in it and that th- it does have a little hot profile. This is what Star Hill does, I think, personally. I think a lot of their beers taste like this. The really? funny thing is, well, yeah. I'll drink it again. Like The more I drink it, the more I like it. Well, if you're you, going to be finishing Ely's. Yeah. If you keep pushing <laughs> me down the road, you know, I'll, I'll give it a three because it's, it's, it's bright. Like I like that. It's easy drinking. Yeah. That's what I like about it. But I don't think it does anything exceptionally well. So I'm just kind of – that's why I gave it a two and a half. Two and a half is not a shit score. Well, they know they don't do anything exceptionally well. I mean, they were founded in Charlottesville. weren't doing very well, so they moved to Roanoke. They're in Roanoke now? <laughs> that- they probably <laughs> opened a second. Yeah. Yeah, I just think it's a, it's a two and a half. It's a middle-of-the-road, hoppy, light beer. It's refreshing. We'll get yeah. with that. But I'm also – We've had drunk. worse – Speaking I couldn't of, see liking hops and not liking it, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's just it's not great. Okay. I don't know what the hell I don't like about it. Speaking of having worse, I, this just popped into my head. You sent a Marco Polo out, and you were drinking the worst ever beer <laughs> ever in <laughs> my, South Carolina. <laughs> my least favorite beer ever is ham. Probably Hams. the lowest. That was probably oh, yeah. How the was, lowest. But you had a concoction. How was it? Dude brilliant i can imagine like i couldn't we believe need to it. run that back i walk into this can this, we do that here yeah i got the recipe it's not complicated yeah i walked into this this place called low life bar and grill remind in, everybody in folly beach hams we all believe we all tried hams it was in the the lager showdown yeah it was a trash beer yeah it was i, I remember that it had notes of the white dog poop yeah is what we and i think we, we gave it to. like a 1.5 collectively like the we, funny thing Kansas about Kansas City Joe drink it or something. He yes. loves that shit. Yeah, yeah. So there is a huge White group of people that love hams. It's like it's got that PBR quality. Yeah, like yeah. People uh-huh. people like it, and then they start to say, "No, I really like it." And then they just start drinking it more, and then it gets this cult following. It's the it's other side of the coin to the hoppy beer. Like, it's the anti. Uh, I love this. I love this beer. It's like. Do you really? But these like are the people it? who drink Schaefer, PBR. Yeah, hams. they're the same people yeah. that like the aftertaste of aluminum. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I walk into this bar, Low Life, and it's got all these fancy fucking beers. And then they're like, 
hams three dollars which is funny because that's what it costs for like a 12 a six pack yeah. of hams yep so it was three dollars for a hams and it was four dollars for a fully loaded hams and i walk up to the bartender and i say i see you have ham she goes oh yeah it's our house beer people love it and i, was, I said no that's yeah. an awful beer you're a liar but what is fully loaded and she said we take uh a little uh, bit of salt mm-hmm. a little bit of lime juice and chill Chalua hot sauce. Nice. nice. And and put it in there. And I was like, oh, okay. I hate your hams. May I please have a fully loaded hams? Yeah. It was fantastic. Exactly. Nice. So question, is that that bar's deal or is that something that it's, it's just there they call it the fully loaded hams and it's their deal. And so it's, it's what not, they serve. It's not just ingredients across the board around the country. People know that hey, let me add this to the hams. It's gonna take I, I know it taste now. Better. I know yeah, if anyone brings me a hams, I'll be like, Do you have any Fully chalupas? loaded. Somebody yeah. bought a <laughs> case of hams for eight dollars and couldn't get through two of them and was like, How can I How do we this charge another up? dollar right. for this shitty beer with a splash of Chalua, yeah. a little squeeze of lime, and now, a little somebody bit of made salt. this in their cheap ass apartment. Like I, that's where somebody came up with it. They're like, This ham I wanna get drunk. I can only afford hams. But I cannot, I cannot afford Coors Light. So I had this Chalua and this salt and this lime sitting around. Honestly, man, it was so good. Like, I had four of them. That good? Yeah, I went back. And it didn't hurt that every time I ordered one, they put a new koozie on it. Did you? That's cool. Yeah, so I was like, uh, yeah, keep them coming. Did you, like, watch them make it so you actually know how to make it? No, I didn't pay attention at all. Actually, honestly, I mean, I would assume the amount of Chalua, the amount of salt, and the I amount mean, you got to think juice. you're cracking a beer. You can only put so much of that shit in there. Because, yeah. But it was every time it would be like overflowing. Yeah. So I'm guessing two splashes of Chalua. Yeah. Honestly, pretty tasty. Chalua's pretty viscous, right? Yeah, but it's uh, it's one of those that's not overly spicy. Like it's more of a flavor. No, I'm just wondering how it breaks down in the beer. It's def- beautifully. It's definitely that. Yeah, you just Googled it's, fully it's loaded. Give it to me it's again. Not. What's in it? Chalua hot sauce. Yeah. Lime juice. Yeah. Salt. That sounds awesome. Yeah. It's amazing. In fact, I, I can't can imagine that wouldn't be amazing in any beer. Any light beer. Yeah. 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 And so they said, what's the cheapest beer we can get our hands on? Charge a premium for it. I loved it. You know yeah. what the ratios are? I don't. That's what Troy was just asking. I'm not, I'm not sure. But, uh, again, you can only put so much in there because they're cracking it fresh. It's not like they take a sip to make room. Yeah. Or pour it in a glass or anything. They don't. They hand it to you in the can. God, this is this is to save money. Yeah, <laughs> it comes in the can. They put an except extra, for the koozie. They put an extra five cents a product and charge an extra dollar for it. I wish I had one of those right now. I, I really want to try one. Yeah, it really was good. Next next time, for the deli, we'll pick up some hams, yeah. put the chalua in it, a little bit of lime, some salt. I think you'll be impressed. It'll take you from a one point five to. A three or better would be my guess. Nice. Yeah. It's it's what like I said, I ordered three more after it. I <laughs> Whatever was whatever's happening, Hams is uh said twenty eight twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen, they are up seventy four percent in sales over the last three years, just in general for Hams beer. It is probably because probably the, our podcast. Yeah. yeah. It's gotta be it. If I had to guess. Well, or, we know that Joe, Kansas City Joe ordered it because of it. Yeah. Or it's probably the uh you podcast. Know, Podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me think about that. What else could it be? That's it could, all. It, we got pole, man. Yeah. We got, you know what would suck, though? I bet if you put Chalua in this beer, it would suck. You yes. need a beer that is an absolute piece of shit as a foundation. You can't have something with a lot of flavors. Yes, I agree. No, any light beer would work because <clears throat> yes. they, yeah. they take, they're like the tofu of beer. Like you, Whatever you <laughs> add to it, way to gonna, put it. The it's going to taste like that. Right. Like, yeah, if you dip tofu in anything, it's now that. Yeah. I think that's accurate. Doesn't change the tofu, though. No, the texture of tofu <laughs> yeah. is still We tofu. talked about that. The tofu that. texture? The whole vegan thing. Why, are you going vegan now, too? No, no. Yeah, that <laughs> would be <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> that's Jesus. What, he, that's what, what is he, happening that's, over here? That's what he's doing for his six yeah. weeks. <laughs> I'm going Thinking vegan. heavily about it. Yeah. No, so um, my stepson's vegan. Okay. So we went for his high school graduation. We went to a 100% vegan place. So yeah. there was nothing that you could get there that was not vegan. Super. So we go there. Here? Yeah, it's in uh, called Head's Hang Space, right down by Buford in Southside. Um, and we go there, and it's all kinds of food that normal people eat. 
Normal tacos. People, is that right? Normals. Yeah. <laughs> Over <laughs> five feet, normal. <laughs> put that yeah, we're back to normal. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the second normal. time. <laughs> Non-vegans eat, but they're trying to make it. So in other words, I just found it odd that like they had a chicken salad sandwich. They had a crispy chicken sandwich. Yeah, they're trying to make. They're making yeah. regular food. food. Yeah. Yeah. And but isn't that what you have to do? Like the bleeding impossible. Yeah, I guess you kind of do. No, you right? don't. Eat. No. If you eat a salad, it tastes like a fucking salad. But if this is what's weird: is the place had no salads. You're like, what? who doesn't have salads? They are missing so the mark. We yeah. ordered steak and cheeses. We ordered. What is happening? I had a chicken salad sandwich. No, you didn't. And a yeah. crispy chicken <laughs> sandwich. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and so I guess what I'm getting <laughs> at is three that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I assure you so it wait, was not chicken. It's all – I don't know. And the reason I say that is because – Was it good? See, okay, if somebody would have handed me this and been like, dude, I just made this amazing chicken salad, try it. I probably would have been like, hey, man, that's pretty good chicken salad stuff. Pretty good. Yeah. But so when you tell me your brain that can't it's wrap fucking it. mystery styrofoam, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's something <laughs> in my brain that tricks me into not liking it. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing ever. So if I handed you the Impossible Burger from Burger King, the meatless burger, and never told you that's what yes. it was, you might like it. Yes. But if I you mean, knew it was that, you're like, so you can't get So for Thanksgiving, we, I had a fam- we went to a family's house. They made chili. And at the end, they were like, oh, that was vegan. I was like, I that feel betrayed. That was damn good. Yeah. <laughs> I feel betrayed, yeah. but that was amazing. Yeah. And so I'm just convinced that it's because my brain knows that it's something that I'm not, that yeah. it's fake yeah. something. You so know, that I'm like, uh, like, I can't. You should have seen so, the whole table. It's like he ate everything. Everybody else <laughs> ate like two or three bites of their yeah. shit. <laughs> it like, it's yeah. like eating with a bunch of four-year-olds. Cool. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, so, you know, my youngest, celiac. My oldest, gluten-free. But the food Ooh, industry. Dinner at Stu's house. Yeah, but great. The, the yeah. food yeah. industry has gotten so much better in the last 10 years. Because like 10 years ago, gluten-free, vegan bread tasted like wet paper towel. Just rolled up. But you can't like I was I'm I was the last one to like stop eating real food when I was at the house. Yeah. And some of the stuff that comes out these days, you can't tell the difference, but it's mentally it's a mind. It's exactly what it's it is. It's a mind. Fuck. Yes. It's well, weird. I went to Qdoba last week and they now have the impossible meat. Really? They do. Yeah. Really? So I'd like to so had the banners up <laughs> and I was like, So guys, I was like I asked the dude, I was like so is that any good? And he's like, yeah, you know, it's not bad. And I go, so you're saying it sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's employee word for this I sucks. I was like, yes, it's not bad. But if I'm looking at that shit right next to the chicken or yeah. the steak, like, I'll just go with the fucking chicken. <laughs> if like, it was really good, you would have made dope ass eye contact and been like, dude, the shit's money. Yeah. Trust that's me. That's a fact. You look yeah. at him and yeah. go, no, honest to God, you need to try this. Yes. Yeah. And you're like, maybe yeah. I do. But no, he said, I mean, yeah, you're not going to shit yourself. Right. <laughs> He's like, so, you wrap it in a burrito full of fucking cheese yeah. and fucking hot sauce <laughs> and right. you, you'll stomach it. Like, exactly. It's like a hams with Chalua. Yeah. What's the, uh, it's coming out near you and me, the Kava. Where is it going? Uh, right across from. Uh, They're already around here. I uh, love Kava. It's Kava's a, good. Kava it's a Mission, place. Ka- Kava and Mission, Mission is where they're building. Now, Kava right. has a shit ton of tofu. No, there. but Kava and Mission are going right across. Yeah, right across from, from Bonefish. But yeah. that. I like kava. And that's Kava's good. I love kava. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. it's not, you, you can go vegan no, if you get there. No, I like Zoe's. I like both, really. I'm Zoe's not a Zoe's guy. I am. I'm never eating it either. Um, um, good for you. Yeah. They're going to try to trick you into eating tofu. Yep. So, oh, and the, does the vegan thing have to be due to a love of animals? Because I can't really get my head around the the. The Saving the earth. No, 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 no I can't get my head around the health part of it. But there's certain people who Dirt. are like, red meat's bad for you. I don't want to do that. You know? Yeah. I, um, they link but red meat to all kinds of But I think a lot of it's love of animals. I think it's mostly love of animals, Oh, right? of course. But you were saying, is there people who... I thought you were I know that they exist, people? but... Do any of these vegans know about the radio labs and shit that talk about how plants can, Dude. like... Talk to each other. Yeah, and feel that's pain. so funny that you dude. Say that radio that was insane. That's Where like true. one tree's dying and the, and the other, other tree's tree send him nutrients. shit through the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. through the fungus, right? Yeah, well, the, and yeah. the fungus in the ground, yeah. but they're all intertwined through yes. the fungus. 
and the fungus helps them communicate, and they can actually pass nutrients right. from that tree to this tree. To repair it, or when the dying tree knows he's dying, he sends his, his shit to the other goes, one. He yeah. goes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yeah. check out. That's insane. I'm going to send you this. So what are we What are what? we killing? To me, that's insane, but if you really just stop and think about it, it totally it makes, makes sense. It makes tons of, yes. Right. I totally agree. Like, yeah. it doesn't have a face. <laughs> yeah. It's a lie. Right. Like, it's a lie. Yeah. We all, we all are in agreement that. Right. You know, I chop millions of their an, heads off every day when I it's an my grass. ecosystem <laughs> every yeah. week. And, and that's but I can look at it like I'm putting this tomato to sleep because I know if I leave it on there for another week, it's going to rot. Yeah. So I'm I'm putting it out of its misery. Well, that's, yeah. what, that's my whole thing with the people who don't eat meat is it's, I'm just like, you do watch see Discovery it. Channel, right? And you see that fucking gazelle just chilling but out eating some grass. And a fucking tiger jump all over it and fucking maul it to death and eat it yeah. while it's screaming. Like, but did they, you know, I'm not, uh, I'll give vegans their due and everything like that, but they didn't, unless their parents were vegan also, again, to your point, Ely, it was a choice at some point in their life. They're like, you know what, I really don't like this Big Mac. I think I'm going to just go for the... You know, impossible burger. I couldn't. I mean, oh, I, there's a there's a fifty percent chance that my youngest daughter is going to convert one day, because she brings it up to me all the time. I don't want to eat this because I feel bad. I hear it, and that's not trained. Like, really, that's her. She brings it up all the time. Where did she hear it in school? She just she maybe she heard it somewhere, but she'll <laughs> she like, had to. It didn't come out of the clouds. She just she's like, I feel bad. I don't want to eat that. And I'm like, she, well, had to, she had to learn where it came from. I can, dude, I cannot wrap my brain around not eating something with milk in it, whether it's a cupcake. I no, can't, that's where meat. that's a step yeah, yeah. too far. I can't wrap my brain around any of that. Yeah, and I try without milk. Yeah, milk's in. You have to make them. But I think that's a step beyond, right? Like, what do you mean? I understand people who are like, I don't want to eat meat because it's 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 bad, but like. Like like it's torture or something. Yeah. Well, but I don't milking understand. a cow is not. Torture. Vegans don't eat milk. That's milk. what I'm saying. I don't understand that. I understand vegetarian more so than I understand vegan. Yes, I can. I because I'm yeah, like I'm, I'm like you. come on, the, those udders were full. So, right. We didn't kill the cow. Vegan, we just like, pulled it out. Don't eat eggs, right? How come? Nah. What's it, they don't that, even eat shit from like that drives me crazy because but they wear fucking eat Nikes. their own eggs. Chickens will eat their own eggs. Well, there's so yeah, many things about it that drive yeah. me nuts because I can't imagine knowing how, like, if you were born a vegan, like, that's all you had, I can get it. Yeah. But if you've eaten this amazing shit, yeah. right. how that's can you be like, say. I'm going to table all of yeah. this amazing shit and I'm going to eat potato chips yeah. forever? Yeah. That seems crazy to me. Yeah. I couldn't even, like, there has to be a serious motivation behind that, right? Uh, yeah, yeah it's protection of animals. It's a, or or it could be the ecological. There are people who go that route because they're like, this is unsustainable. It's it's ruining the you know the environment to raise this many cows or this yeah. many chickens. But see, there the is some is, people who have that angle. I've I'll, seen the meme that says, "What if I told you cannibalism would fix the world hunger problem <laughs> and the population problem?" Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! But the thing is, that's I, horrible. I, I, uh, it does solve two <laughs> problems right away. When I got to give you that. To Ely's point about milk, I know for a fact we're the only species that chooses to drink another's. Please pull up Joe Rogan's response to that. He's like, bitch, I'm the only motherfucker that flies around planes, too. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> fucking I mean, hilarious. We don't need it. Right. Yeah, of course we're the only ones. We don't need 80-inch yeah. flat screens. That's right. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah. I'll take it. Oh, my it. God. So the guy walking out of Best Buy today when I was in there, the 75-inch fucking flat screen, yeah. I was like, the TVs are getting ridiculous. I mean, you have to be, to make it worthwhile, you got to be 20 feet away from it. Yeah. <laughs> Stu, I can't get behind this argument. I can't yeah. either. i got a 70. Bigger the better. My yeah, father-in-law has a, I want a 90. I don't want to sit three my feet from has it, though. I want the entire side of my house yes. to be <laughs> HD. Yeah. My father-in-law has an 80-inch TV and and. Their like guest bedroom that they've converted to like a second living room, and it's like thirteen by thirteen. <laughs> like yeah, it, you it has like two recliners in it. It looks like you're sitting in front of a movie screen. And as weird as this sounds, I think that my seventy looks small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what, it's because of the room's so big. I don't know. What TV is it that um, 
the resolution's so good that they're like it, it doesn't even matter because your eye can't even pick up the difference. Yeah, we're like, getting to a crazy. I feel point. like all TVs are. Yeah. Yeah. Like well, so they're they're getting to that point for sure, though. I mean, 4K is already amazing. And yeah. Have you seen those sweet ass like the curve? 38 inch Samsung de- like a computer monitors? No, but oh, I'm in. No. Oh, dude, they're so awesome. I want it. Like you I'm do. already in. Yeah. You like, do. Yes. <laughs> I am never gonna be like, oh, that's too big. Yeah. Really? No, but I mean, like for like your work, it's amazing, and you can it's it's all solid, but you can still split the screens. It's so that's cool. Awesome. That's huge. Yeah. Going to two monitors changed my two life. Two monitors. Oh, yeah. Oh, now yeah. I'm looking at spreadsheets while also looking yeah. at the facts like the write-up right. and i'm like this is amazing like i sound like a wizard on calls or you're I'm looking like at frust- spreadsheets while yeah. looking at youtube <laughs> what's yeah. the other one <laughs> i'm thinking about taking a monitor to the river because i'm all yeah. laptop only like how do people I do can't. this yeah. i can't going back and forth it's no. the worst i feel like my legs caught in a fucking bear trap i agree <laughs> i'm like what is <laughs> yeah. happening i can't do this yeah. <laughs> like, go get to the other <laughs> screen again what was yeah. that it's horrible yeah so uh 15 years ago, I guess it was about 15 years ago, Brendan and myself and Dax were in a Best Buy and we thought we were buying the best fucking TV. Remember that? We all we all spent $1,800, I think. 50 about inch two-inch. DLPs, which are like, yeah, you, did. <laughs> you know, yeah. 24 inches deep, which yeah. is ridiculously I small. I can't remember who it was that was actually in there for one and we all walked out with one. Like, I think we- I was going and I found such a good deal that you guys were like, Holy crap. We should get these. We got, yeah. you know, I still have that. I refuse to get rid of that DLP. I replaced the bulb twice. My girls still have it in the place. I replaced the <laughs> bulb, awesome. too. Yeah, because I was like, there where, actually where is, is great technology. TV? It's in my garage, uh-huh. but I'm I'm thinking about buying a place just to put it in there. Yeah. Because it deserves a home. A new house? It's a 50-inch TV, damn it. DLP has the blackest blacks you could get your hands on. Ugh. It's an amazing television. My father-in-law gave me a 40-inch and it had the picture in picture, and I was like, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> picture in picture is still the future. People just don't it's know. It's going it. away. Yeah, because now it's now you we can't. just have two two screens. Yeah. Which is amazing. Well, unlike here where you have four screens. <laughs> it is yeah. pretty sweet. That's kind of like four skins. I tell, whenever I tell... <laughs> Whenever I tell people about the pout house, I go, I'm like, yeah, my buddy built a bar, you know, in his backyard. It's cool. It's got leather couches, and it's got a bar and a kegerator. And they're like, cool. And I go, and it's got four flat screens across the wall. And they're like, oh, shit. Like, that's Because guys what still react legit. to televisions. We love televisions. We want, them, we want more of them. Yeah. But when you're watching football, you want to watch all the games. Ready to say. And nipples. Yeah. Oh, shit. We're running out of time, but I got a story that I'm okay. I'm loving this. Like I had a blast. So the other day I was getting on a flight, right? And I'm sitting there on this flight heading out to Nashville, and there's this like European lady, like just across. So I'm in the aisle seat. Then there's a guy on the other side of the aisle seat, and then there's this lady over there, and she's got an infant with her. And then next to me is is a guy. Over here, and he's like, actually, he looked like Bagel Dude. Okay. If I had to, like, <laughs> pin him, like, now that I've seen Bagel Dude, he was Bagel Dude. So gotcha. I got Bagel Dude to my left, aisle Dude, and then Woman with an Infant, right? And we're sitting there, and we're getting ready to, like, take off. And Dude has a bag of chips that he's got the corner torn off. Is this dude, dude next to you? Or, dude, or? dude next to me. Okay. And he's literally... Pouring chips into his mouth Faster. while he's got his little tiny phone. He's watching a movie and he's just like he's in heaven. Yeah, and he's just literally pouring chips in his mouth. And I'm like, like this little. Can we, can we rewind this? So are we saying like pouring the chips while the bag is full, or he's getting the last crumbs and he only poured once? No, he opened it and then started pouring. He was drinking. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Full on Homer. He was level. drinking yeah. the chips. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay. This I'm with is you. how he chooses to okay. eat chips. I'm with is you. In a waterfall fashion. Okay, he didn't want his fingers on. to get yeah. all yeah. gross. Yeah. Brought, why would you? He yeah. brought these with him, or is this dude? Airline. He had a fucking bag of snacks at his feet that I was Maybe unaware of. this was of. Bagel Guy. <laughs> it, dude, I'm telling you, he looked exactly like Bagel Guy. Nice. And he's I see you looking at me. In. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want, some of my chips? <laughs> then, you know, I've already made eye contact because I've smiled at the baby, right? Yeah. Like, you know, there's a baby there. Oh, you're the creepy guy. Uh, yeah. We are just talking about that. Yeah. There's the beetle. <laughs> What's However your you... kid's name? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. Can I pet him? Who's the, yeah. guy, who's the kid behind you? Do you like gladiator movies, Timmy? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking over, 
and we're getting a ready hospital? to take what off. What is it? And all of a sudden, mom just just flops out her tit. Yeah, she and slaps yeah, the kid on did. it, and I'm like, like no garment covering or nothing. None, because I already noticed because you know she was getting on the plane and she had like she had an infant. Yeah. And then she had these like really floppy big orangutan old, titties. Yeah, and she had like the really <laughs> loose the really loose like like things. Like she was like, ready like, to whip them out. <laughs> yeah, like this thing was designed yeah. to whip them out. Now, I didn't know this was going to be the case, but I was hoping. And how did you know she was European? Dude, you could tell <laughs> instantly when she walked on the plane. I was like this Frenchie has got an infant. <laughs> Yeah, and then sure enough, she just yanked it out in a way that no American. Brenda's would. like, excuse no me, modesty. Okay. Brenda's like, excuse me, can I change my seat? <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, buddy, you want to switch seats? <laughs> yeah. So then she slaps the kid on. So now I'm sitting here. There's this one guy across the aisle who's who's mortified. <laughs> yeah, That's this guy's kid. mortified. Like, you done with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's having to like stare forward because like the tits out <laughs> yeah. next to him. He's really? Like, he's like, oh, oh shit. shit, don't turn. And I'm like, yeah, because like, it's awkward if you turn. Yeah. Yes, you know what but I mean. But I'm I'm across I'm the aisle. I'm just looking out the window. <laughs> Ooh, this begs a question. I mean, does she want you to turn? Well, I hope so because I did. Yeah, you have to. She wants you to turn, right? Part of it is that she's. Uh, I wouldn't say. I think you have to expect people to look at you if you're doing that. If well, I had to look because I wanted to be certain that that was a titty. But as long as yeah. you looked, though. Either way, well then totally I totally finished. If, yeah. she, if she's doing that, <laughs> she's probably like full on aware that she's ready to like have eye to eye conversation with you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. She was. That, that's what I'm saying. Well, she I'm was not ready for eye to eye. She <laughs> was ex- <laughs> extremely liberal. Yes. Are up here. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And and every time like the, the like you're talking to the baby, like the <laughs> yeah. flight yeah. attendants would walk. What are you by. talking? You saying <laughs> something to me? The flight attendants would walk by and He's she'd so have it on. She would just look at him like. You gonna say anything? Sprite, please. Brenda's like, like "Good, you motorboat and son of a bitch." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the dude next to her was mortified. Really? Like this Puritan motherfucker. Oh, was really? Like, he, I don't think he was mortified. Yeah, I would, I'm with Troy. He, did he doesn't want to. He didn't know what to do. He, he got mortified yeah. in the sense that he has to know. Deal like he with. Was, yeah. He was bending his eyeballs oh, hard was, right though. You he can was guarantee. Trying. <laughs> and I'm, I'm thinking, well. While keeping gonna, his head straight, he was doing as hard as he could to look over there. So I'm just like, I'm going to use his head as a block. Yeah. And like, just kind of drift in and out of where his head is. Right. You know? like, Did you like smack his... bagel guy and be like, hey, man, look at yeah. this shit. No, so this was my favorite part of it. So we take off and then he's grubbing and he like gets through his whole bag of chips, right? <laughs> and then he's like, boom, he reaches in his bag and he pulls out a bag of spicy peanuts and he's like, tears the top off and he's pouring them in his mouth. <laughs> what the fuck is How this machine is this sitting next to you? Awesome. He's the bagel guy. Yeah. <laughs> that big and then she keeps pulling the titty out like throughout like the Like rotating them? It was, oh yeah, you know what? Now that yeah. you think about it, yeah, because the kid's head would sometimes be facing me, yeah. sometimes his face. So definitely. But... It became, in my mind, like the battle of who could eat more. And I was enjoying the shit out of myself. That is great. Because I keep looking left like, well, he's still going. Yeah. We've got an early lead for Bagel Guy. And then I'm turning right and I'm like, no, but the titty's back out. We still got a shot here. He's coming up from the rear is French yeah. titty. And the whole flight, this kept happening. The dude never ran out of snacks. And every time the kid so much just went, eh, she was like, boom, titty. pull the titty what? out. Like she didn't want the kid to bother anybody. Oh, uh, yeah. So every Smart. time, how come kid, it doesn't work for me? I'm sorry, I know Dude, want him to cry. At one point, I'm not kidding. She's passed out with a kid on her tit. What? I was like, that's when you start taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's when he finished. That's when I hit. Yeah. That's when I tapped Bagel Guy. Yeah, exactly. You want a show? Exactly. No, but I was you like, napkins? I was like, what a comfortable woman. You know what I mean? Yes. Like she is like just doing her thing. Can we switch seats now? And they they battled for a whole like hour and a half flight. He never stopped pulling shit out and doing it, and she never stopped putting the kid on the tit. And I was like, this is my favorite flight of all time. Yeah. Because this guy's an idiot. Pure entertainment. You don't even need and your headphones. And she's, dude, I don't know what I listened to the whole yeah. way. I was like, this is great. And I was like, oh, bagel guys for the win, like right at the end. Yeah. Because we were coming, you- we were coming down to land, and he finished a bag of nuts into his mouth, same way, waterfall <laughs> technique. And then he puts them down, and I was like, for the win. Good job, bagel guy. And then right as we're coming down, the kid's ear starts popping. And I was like, oh, grand finale out of Frenchie. Yeah. It was beautiful. Did you ever make any eye contact with the row behind her? Were they peeping through the cracks? I didn't notice. No. I didn't notice. But I know dude next to her is like, if 
That's a man you never want to have a there staring contest. There was no seat between the two of them. No, I was on the three seat side. Yeah, oh, and I had a guy. Two. I had okay. a guy missing in between us. Yeah. So I had a great vantage point for both. Yeah. It was amazing, but she won. So she are you longer. comfortable saying that the guy next, the guy next to her, never looked once? I'm not kidding. He is the staring contest champion of the world. Dead forward. Burned a hole in that seat. Oh, my mm. God. He was uncomfortable as shit, but not you enough to been say like, anything. She's asleep, so what? <laughs> 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 what airline? Uh, Delta. And they didn't. Nobody gives a crap. Did not care. Yeah, they yeah. were coming by. They were offering her drinks and like doing, you know, doing the thing. Like Good it was for them. Good for them. Perfectly normal. I was like, this is the greatest flight of my life. That's it was pretty amazing. cool. Yeah. It was awesome. I, it was seriously. I wish every flight had a bagel guy and a. And a Frenchie. Yeah. And you were one seat. With over. entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> like it was. Exactly. It was great because it catches your eye when a nipple flops out. Oh, yeah. Like you can't mm. not notice. Even if it's in the peripheral, yeah. you're like. I'm not you, not looking. Have if you I'm ever the guy missed, next to her. Have you ever missed one? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, like it never happens. Only if there's others around. The only thing that could have distracted me was a guy pouring <laughs> chips in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm doing the reverse cross eyed. Like my eyes are <laughs> going the other way. You know. Funny you say this. Dude. My wife was. Texting with some uh, friends the other day, and I, I made a sex. I was like, "Oh, you're sexting," and she's like, "Oh, would you want to see these girls naked?" I was like, "I'd take a look at anybody for yeah. sure." <laughs> Be careful Anybody. how you answer, because the answer is yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> always. The always. answer is always yes. Yeah, I don't yeah. care how. But what's gross the your, it is. You know, but what's the correct answer? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Like Ron White says, you know, you see one pair of titties. You want to see them all. Yeah. <laughs> I saw I was with my wife. I told this story in the podcast a while back where we were at a gas station and this like really old, like 80 some year old Asian lady came walking out and she was wearing like the deep cut out T-shirt, you know, with oh, no sleeves yeah. all the way around. And she was walking out and I was like, oh, my God, I saw her nipple. It was like it was so baggy. Yeah. And it was like the worst tit in Ever. the world. And yes. I was so excited when my wife came right. back to the car. I was like, oh, my God, I saw Viet that woman's tit. tit. <laughs> and she was, like, she was like, you are so weird. And I was like, no, I'm perfectly normal. I'm excited right now. Yeah. Yeah. We're going in. She thinks I'm a weirdo, which I get that. I'm it's not because I want but... to. Like, it's in the fiber of my yeah. being. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Anything. I want to yeah. see them. Yeah. 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 I agree. It's wild. <laughs> we should wrap this up before we say any more. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Ely's like, bring it. Side boob. I don't know. You guys are getting your second. Old win. Asian <laughs> side boob. <laughs> he's, no, coming, he's coming from Pennsylvania. You're coming from South Carolina. I think you got a. Oh, I have. I have woken let's, up. Let's, no doubt about let's that. do this. <laughs> nah, man. It's crazy. No, nah, thank you guys so much for tuning in week in, week out. We certainly do appreciate it. If you haven't had a chance to uh, go over to Nectar Sunglasses and drop ITPH in the coupon code, you will get 30% off. There's nothing wrong with that deal. And if you haven't sent us any topics, you can do so at InsideThePalletHouse at gmail.com. Or you can always find us on Instagram or Twitter at ITPH Podcast. I think that's all. Oh, and Facebook page. Yeah. It does yep. exist. Please like us and uh, send us topics through there. And sign up, people. Oh, look at this. Tell a this friend. Just, I seem to have, you know how so everyone's really, smiled. Really good producer right there. Really good. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. producing. Dude, I'm producing my <laughs> balls off. Support yeah. Taylor Carson. Definitely. You absolutely should, man. His new album's doing yeah. pretty well. And, and our Jason Jones yes. has a new album out. So Is it out yet? It's coming out. Oh, it's coming out. We'll, we'll, we'll get him on the air and have that. We'll hype that we'll up. We'll play some of it. Because that album is sick. It's legit. It really is good. Like, impressive stuff. Yeah, but, the first three songs on that album, I just... Play the shit out Song of number it. seven yeah. is my jam. Whatever that one yeah. is. I've got, a, I've got an early release. It's fantastic. Yeah. So looking forward to uh, that drop. For sure. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be talking to you next week. Cheers. Cheers. Peace. That was a really good podcast, don't you think? <laughs>